get down on it. Go to your home! Get down on you it. You don't like your home? You don't want to go to your home? So he says he's not good at golf. Let's see how good he is. Friday morning. I just finished up at Gold's. So I'm at Lake Marion Publix now. I'm gonna try to get in and out, get meal preps going for the week for the next probably three or four days. And uh, show you what I choose, try to make it as cheap as possible, as inexpensive as I possibly can, and simplify it for you. $46.13 that was spent and um, the way I look at it I should have meals for Amy and I for the next four days maybe five days but I would say four all right what you're about to witness something that you probably won't see happen very often from the looks of most parking lots it probably never happens watch this Some of you guys are probably like, wait, what just happened? Well, what I did was I took the grocery cart that I use and I put it back where it goes. I know, it's crazy. Here's some proteins, chicken thighs, turkey burgers, sweet potatoes for carbs, season up with a little bit of coconut oil, salt and pepper. So all together is what it looks like. Pretty simple, sweet potato, salt and pepper, vegetable, salt, pepper, and garlic, chicken thighs, and also some turkey burgers with some cilantro garlic dressing on it. It wasn't that bad. That took me about an hour. Shopping and cooking, maybe an hour and 20 minutes. It's not that hard to do. Saves you a lot of money. Helps you a lot to eat clean. So, I know a lot of people will think that meal prepping is pretty hard to do, and that wasn't a very in-depth, detailed meal prep, but just to give you an idea, it's really not that hard to do. Just cook a big batch of food, and make sure it's balanced, carbs, protein, vegetables, should be something green in there, and eat it. All right, so one of our guys, Dijamas, is taking up a donation for Hurricane Matthew victims in Haiti. So, um, I didn't really have much to donate, but then when he said clothes, I realized I have a ton of clothes that I never wear. So it's a good excuse to clean my closet out and help people out. So out guys got some special guests in the back hopefully you can see them the waggy tails anyways I see two puppies that had a fun ride in the truck stay
pretty tired too though. I just go run wild and make them chase me the whole time until I feel like they're done. And then back to the house. I know a lot of you have dogs and a lot of you probably don't have a lot of time. But if you can make the time at least once a week to take the dogs outside, let them run around, even run around with them, it's, it, it helps them so much. It's so good for their mind, for everything they are. They're dogs. They need to get out and run and smell and experience some outdoors. I know a lot of people have dogs and they just leave them inside all day. They never take them to do anything. The dogs just have a pretty boring, lazy, fat life. So to be good to your pets. Love them. Take your dogs out. Let them run wild. Let them be dogs for a little bit. Beautiful day for that. Heels down towards the mat, press into the hands, let the chest fall down. Yeah, there's some golf or something. We're doing some golf, top golf thing. I need to go to the get my another battery. This man is my future father. There he is. Little slider. Oh my god. I learned tonight, I have to admit it, I'm terrible at golf. I, I hit one ball into the range, and besides that, they've all just been flops. So now I know, you gotta be honest with all your failures, your shortcomings. I'm not good at golf. Golf, let's see how good he is. That looks like it went pretty far. Send him home. I sent him home. <laughs> 